The Commodore 128 was the last and most advanced of the Commodore 8-bit machines. It also had one of the most advanced basics of any 8-bit machine. And in today's video, I'm going to show you some handy features in Commodore 128 Basic that you may not have known about. And I'm going to try to do it all in 128 seconds, so let's get into it. Okay, so this first one is automatic line numbering. And we can do that by typing auto and then followed by how much we want to increment the lines by each time. Let's do auto 10. We'll have to type the first line number, then we hit enter it automatically gives us our line numbers so we don't have to type it each time. So let's add a line 15 to this program. Let's say it wants to be nice and neat and we want each line to go up by 10. So we can type renumber instead of 10, 15, 20. Now it's nice, neat, 10, 20, 30. Okay, so next thing I'm going to show you is something called a do while loop. So we can start up by typing do and then we type the code that we want to loop. Then we type loop while and then a condition. In this case, when x is less than 10. There we go. Uh, Commodore 128 does have a proper else function. This can be really handy for reducing spaghetti in your code. So we're just going to get a value from the user and then we're going to if x is greater than 10 then print x is more than 10 and then we're going to go colon else print x is less than 10. This can be handy for just simplifying your code. And here's an alternative version of the famous 10 print random maze program that uses the else function. Commodore 128 came with Windows, but not in the way you probably expect. To create a window, we can type window and then follow by coordinates for the top left hand corner and the bottom right hand corner. As you can see, our ready prompt is moved. We uh, sh hit shift clear home and it clears that area. And now we have our own little discrete area on the screen where all of our basic stuff will happen. To get out of this little box on the screen, we hit home twice. And this also works in 80 column mode. Okay, so here's a little program, nothing fancy, it just prints hello six times. But let's type a command called Tron. Now let's run it. And it then displays all the lines that were executed leading up to that output. This is mainly just handy for debugging. Now you can turn it off by typing trough. The next thing is error trapping. So first I'm going to start by going trap 100. So whenever this program encounters an error, it'll go to line 100. Then we go at line 100, we'll print out two system variables, one that prints out the error type and one that prints out the error line number and then we'll go 110 resume next every time the program encounters an error it will go to line 100 and execute whatever codes there and then the resume next will basically resume the program so the program will keep running even if it encounters an error Whew, man that was a lot <laughs> And my 128 seconds is up. Anyway, that is seven cool Commodore 128 basic features that are handy and you might not have known about. Uh, I might make videos about some of them and go in a bit more detail, especially like the error trapping. I'm probably going to do a whole video about error trapping in Commodore Basic at some point. But anyway, uh, thank you very much for watching. I hope you learned something and uh, yeah, have a great day. Oh, and uh, happy Thanksgiving for my fellow Canadians.